All right, the Philippine Scout Rangers. Let's go. The Philippine Scout Rangers are a cut above the rest. A light quick reaction force. Trained to strike hard and fast to deep behind enemy lines. Oh, shit. But to join this elite crew, soldiers must first endure six months of hell. <laughs> So it's kind of hard to hear the commentator. Uh, essentially what he said is going to be a six-month training course that most will fail. So we'll see. Philippine Scout Rangers are fearsome anti-guerrilla fighters. We evaluate our targets. We analyze, we discuss who among them needs uh, elimination. They are trained to operate in a dense jungle terrain found across the Philippines archipelago. The Scout Rangers go behind deep enemy lines with just small teams, little as seven men. Traveling light and hitting hard. And to be able to strike fast, they use helicopters to hit the battle zone. Specializing in raids, ambushes, and sabotage. The Philippines has long been plagued by domestic conflicts, one of which gave birth to this elite unit. The first Scout Ranger Regiment was uh, formed in 1950 because uh, the government is looking for a solution to counter the uh, guerrilla tactics of uh, our then uh, communist armed groups. They're called the Hooks. Skilled in unconventional. And that's where a lot of special forces groups go. Actually, it's uh, pretty much the definition of special forces is an elite group of men that come together and fight in guerrilla warfare. That's essentially all special forces groups across the entire globe. No jungle warfare. The unit was modeled after two legendary fighting groups, the intelligence gathering American Alamo Scouts and the combat ready U.S. Army Rangers. Day one. These 206 volunteers are already trained soldiers from other Army regiments. Rangers, good morning. They will be stripped of all their ranks. Here, every man is equal. All aiming for one thing. The coveted tobacco of the Scout Ranger Training School. The Red Border Sig Alright, so what he's saying, and this is uh very similar to how other special forces Schools do it. You take all the soldiers that want to become scout rangers. You take them through a qualification course, make sure they're all qualified and up to speed. And you take these already good group of guys. And as I think it said 206 recruits and you put them together and then you see who's left at the end. If they're an officer, if they're a non-commissioned officer, they remove all their rank. They remove everything that is identifiable about them. This is just to show that I don't care what you did in the past. That doesn't matter. That's not going to get you to become a uh, Scout Ranger. You're going to have to earn that title. Signifies the blood, sweat, and tears shed by every Ranger during his course. The sword symbolizes our special unit capability, and the words we strike symbolizes uh, our capability to go anywhere, any place, and any time. <laughs> Today is known as Reception Day, and recruits are in for a grueling welcome. For the next five hours, using... So, he said this is Reception Day. Every Special Forces group usually considers this uh, the day that they're going to get rid of the most people. This, this, The first day of any selection course, they're going to hound the shit out of you. And I, th I think he just said five hours. Kind of hard to hear him. 
essentially they're just going to smoke them and, and see who who uh, who quits just within the first day. Instructors will try and break as many as possible through continuous physical exercises. It's not just the instructors who will be brutal. Today is a searing 32 degrees Celsius. Just 10 minutes in, the horse is already claimed its first victim to the heat. But he's not alone. Four more recruits have reached their limits. Recruit 54 has collapsed from heat exhaustion. He's being taken to the medical area to get his body temperature down. For others, Bell has just begun. The second run sees more recruits drop. Medics are called in for even more severe cases of heat exhaustion. You know, I give it to these guys that, that uh, that are probably not as prepared as they should have been for this, but they're not quitting. I mean, they're literally pushing their bodies until heat exhaustion. So, I mean, it says a lot about their heart. The exercise has depleted the class of essential water and salt. It results in dizziness, vomiting, loss of consciousness, and control. If not treated fast enough, it can develop into heat stroke, a potentially fatal condition. If the condition is already heat stroke, the regulatory mechanisms of the body has already malfunctioned. Then um, the patient started to bleed. That would result to multiple organ failure. The next challenge the right. sees them hitting the ground. To the, right. to the, right. the unfit or unwilling have Please. no place Please. in the scout rangers. At age 32, recruit one is one of the oldest in the course. Uh, this is my ambition. It is very difficult uh, and it's very hard to, to be trained as a ranger. That's why uh, I don't know what's uh, the training I will going to, to survive this uh, kind of course. And that's what a lot of people don't understand, and I've said this in previous videos, is a lot of people just take the qualifications that it takes to be a ranger or, or a scout ranger or a special forces or whatever the case is, Navy SEAL, and they take the qualification, the minimum qualifications that it takes to become that. And then they go make a YouTube video showing that, hey, look, I can I can become a Navy SEAL because I just passed these qualifications. What they don't understand is, is that these guys are not just doing, they're doing those same individual tasks, but they're doing it the best they can on every single event. It adds up over time, especially in this heat, and it's exhausting. And you could tell, I mean, some of those guys that just dropped out, most of those guys look like they were half dead. Oh. 
That looks horrible. Two hours to go. For those still in the game, the pain is nearly over. I seen that that right there, what they're doing. I, I don't remember what it was called. I think someone said it was called Rest Easy or something. But if you watch my Malaysian GGK video, you'll see uh, they're, they're doing essentially that. And it looks like torture. Reception has nearly ended. But this last tradition is a hard one to stomach. Chili's. Right now, you're the, this is the final phase of our reception rites. So we, we're trying to let them uh, eat the chili pepper and uh, the juice of it. So after this, they're licking the tabak sign or insignia. And then the musang or the Black Panther is our logo for the Scout Rangers. Finally, reception day is over. But disappointment sets in as these recruits realize their Scout Ranger dream is over. Hindi ko na nalaman kung saan ako na nag-give up yung katawan ko. Basta nagising na lang ako na parang na parang nahihilo na, na hindi na nakayanan ng katawan ko. At the end of day one, the damage is... So, so both of them, you got to think about the guys that quit, right? That's heartbreaking. But imagine the guys that actually just made it through day one. What do you think they're thinking to themselves? Yes, I made reception. I, I passed the first day. That was day one. It's clear. 35 have quit. 171 remain standing. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> Philippine Scout Ranger recruits are seven weeks into their brutal training regime. 53 have already dropped out. Those who fail to graduate has... So what do you say? Week, week seven, 53 dropped out. So uh, they started with 206. So I don't know how much they lost on the first day. I can imagine they lost probably half of that easily. And so really since week since the weeks went on, it doesn't look like they lost a whole lot, maybe 25 guys or whatnot. One thing in common, they easily give up. The battle has been won yet, they already doubt themselves. Once you doubt yourself, the affinity will not finish the course. Pag exit sa static line, isigaw ng Oprah Pin. Nakuha! Yes, the recruits will test their heads for heights today. They're going to learn to repel on this 45-foot tower. Ranger Prater, request permission to enter the tower at the back. Sergeant! Scout Rangers pride themselves in life. It's crazy how much things they've adopted from the U.S. Uh, and, and granted, I'm sure the U.S. has adopted things from the Philippines as well. But even how he enters that door... Brings back memories for me. Lightning infiltration and extraction, often from helicopters into dense jungles. Rangers specialize in jungle warfare. They rappel down mountains, cross rivers, using expedite methods or anything that's available within them. In the jungle, they need to feel comfortable hanging at 100 feet in the air, well under fire. In a battle zone, Quick execution of these skills to mean the difference between life and death. Recruits will have to complete four crucial forms of repelling. The seat hip repel, the lizard repel, the rundown repel, and the heli repel. And then, how about some break? Get apart. Okay. Hold the rope. Recruits 1 and 155 are up first okay. with the seat hip repel. Used for mountain evacuations. Recruit 155 is one of the youngest in the course. Alam naman ko po ay kinakabahan po ako ngayon. Dahil first time ko po ito at nalulula dahil sa mataas ng katawin nito. Pagsubok po sa buhay. Go. 
Ranger apa? Ranger itu perform. Sit here, perform. Boss, start. Ranger, get on stage. Ready for perform. The first exercise is cleared. They performed well, even recruit 155. About to say for that being something he's scared of and scared of heights, he was still smirking at the top and he still did a phenomenal job uh, repelling down that tower for sure. And that's kind of really what it's all about. It's yes, rangers are going to need to repel down mountains, but it's also putting fears and, you know, putting things in front of them that they're scared of doing and showing them that they can still overcome that. For the next few hours, each recruit gets a turn to perform the three types of repels. Yung hindi namin nakapansin na pagkaragala yung sadyante. Once na hindi ka hindi nakahook up, malaglag siya or matulak ng kasama. For recruit 197, the lizard repel used for clearing rooms with hostages is proving a challenge. This fully loaded M16A1 rifle weighs over 3 kilograms. Mas mahirap ito sa lizard yung tali. Mas masakit siya sa biwang mo. Kasi pababa yung ulo eh. Yung bigat na doon lahat. Tapos may baril pa. Ma masakit talaga siya. Next, they must conquer the slide for life. A 200 meter flying fox. Ang importante po ng slide for life, uh, kung nag-operate tayo, May mga cases na madana natin to, lalo na sa mga ilog, malalalim na ilog. It's a seven-second expressway to safety or injury. Kung pagdating mo doon sa taas, paghawak mo ng puli, pag hindi ka nakagrip, may posibilidad na malalaglag ka dito. Tapos makon yung katawan mo, ma-crack. Not getting it right here won't kill me. Nagapat doon sila bumagsak sa kabila dahil for secure. Kung dito kasi, delikado at medyo mababaw na kasi either may mga bato-bato na dyan. But in the jungle, one mistake could mean death. Next up is amphibious training. Some recruits are weak swimmers. This phase will aim to weed out those that can't make the grade. Recruits will be thrown into this 12-foot deep river, blindfolded and in full combat gear, weighing 30 kilograms. The aim is to first disorient them, then see if they can calmly recover and reach the surface. Can you imagine if you're not a strong swimmer? They had 35 kilograms to you, they blindfold you, blindfold you, and then they throw you in a 12-foot river with a rope attached to you. I can imagine if you can't swim or you're not a good swimmer, that'd be terrifying. Recruits terrified of water. This is their worst nightmare. Recruit 181 will confront one of his lifelong fears. <laughs> Dito, mahina talaga ako sa kwan, nangoy. Nung nangyari sa akin, nalunog kasi ako, matagal akong uh, sa iyong sa tubig. May, may pobya na talaga ako dyan, pero sinusubukan ko lang yung, tina, parang kinakounter ko lang yung takot ko dyan. Treading water. Recruits must tread water for 30 minutes in this 5x5 five five meter square. Fresh water has a density lower than salt water, making flooding much more difficult. For those leading, the cold and the cramping is causing problems they don't need. 
One minute. Ranger, it's a kita. Ranger, kita, kita. Kita. Marunong lalumangoy, pero hindi ko sigurado kung tatagal ng 30 minutes sa tubig. Madikyo kayo dyan. But recruits have more to worry about than staying afloat. I mean, I'm a pretty strong swimmer as well, but can I tread water for 30 minutes? I don't know. At the end of the 30 minutes, the instructors will jump in and attack the weak. Five cows, it's like one, two, three, four, five. Time! Oh, shit. If recruits don't have the energy to rush it, they could find themselves in deep trouble. <laughs> I was not anticipating people to quit, especially after treading water for 30 minutes. They obviously know how to make people quit. If the crews fail the first time, they are forced to redo this until the course director is satisfied. For the poor swimmers, this is hell. We have this uh, Johnny Clark for training for our recruits, for them to get prepared. When they engage their enemies in the water, that someone is drowning them, they don't get panicked, and they, they know what to do. Five cows, it's like one, two, three, four, five. Time! The recruits survive amphibious training, but what lies ahead will test their nerves and risk their lives to become a scout ranger. The scout rangers are an elite strike unit on constant standby to deploy against insurgent groups across the Philippines archipelago. Marksmanship is a key skill for a ranger. Today, these recruits need to prove they have it. Four, one, ready. Fundamental understanding of positioning, aiming, breathing, and correct trigger pressing will be put to the test in five separate skills. Zero in. One inch below the line of sight. Endurance fire, record firing, and the sneaker course. But it is the final exam that is the most nerve-wracking of all. A confidence test that can kill. Recruits are required to shoot two bags full of colored water at a distance of 25 meters using this M16A1 rifle with a 5.56 caliber round. First, they practice. Then their teammates hold the bags. Hitting the thigh could rupture the femoral artery, one of the body's most important blood vessels. Rapid blood loss leading to death can occur in just five minutes, and the margin for error is slim. So, kahit na perfect na ibang part ng fundamentals, pag nagkaroon ng error sa trigger, konti lang, konting error lang, maaari ang target hindi na siya tatamaan. Maaaring kakaliwa ang bala or kakanan. This is more than just marksmanship. It's a test of trust. Pagkaibigan mo kasi, kakabahan ka na maaari mo siyang matamaan o hindi. He's like, if it's at your friend, you're gonna feel nervous. He's like, but luckily I didn't have a friend, so I didn't give a shit. No, but, I mean, these guys are shooting these bags. I don't remember how far it says he was. They're shooting with iron sights. Um, when I first watched this, I thought it was kind of like a like a like a scam almost like I thought it was lower I thought it was down by their shins but it's definitely above the kneecap so I mean if you hit that dude in the leg he could die especially if you don't get a tourniquet on his leg fast enough so this is pretty legit 
It's judgment time. One target down. Lucky for his friend, Recruit 22 passed, and they both move one step closer to being a ranger. Next, the recruits begin the Helleborn training phase. Scout rangers can deploy quickly into conflict areas by air. Landing in the... All right, so that's all we're going to have time for for part one. If you want to see part two... Uh, just like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see part two and if it's something you're interested in. And uh, until the next one.